SAFM, South Africa's news and information leader. Jube Jube takes the stand and police confirm Greenpeace activists' arrest in Durban. Good afternoon, I'm Udzile Saku. Murder-accused musician Jube Jube Maruhanye says he did not set out to murder anybody and denied all charges against him in the Protea Magistrates Court in Soweto. He also denies using alcohol and drugs on the day in question, despite medical evidence to the contrary. Jub Jub and co-accused Temba Chabalala are on trial for murder related to an alleged drag racing incident in March last year. The two allegedly slammed into a group of school children, killing four and seriously injuring two. Jub Jub is testifying in his own defense after the state closed its case last week. Pearl Magubani reports. An emotional Jup Jup has denied all charges against him, saying his car was not the one that plunged into four kids that died. He also says he went through six fertilizers that all came back with no traces of alcohol. He has also denied ever using cocaine or morphine, as testified by some state witnesses. Jup Jup says this has been a traumatic time for all families, but the parents are still angry, saying that he is the one that killed the children. Poma Kobane, SAPC News, Protea Magistrates Court. Service delivery at the Dinogana Tribal Office near Zeros in Northwest has been disrupted as workers were forced to leave their offices. Angry taxi operators charged into the offices accusing the acting chief and his council of inciting residents to barricade the N4 road and disturb their operations. Taxi operators have stoned the vehicle of one of the traditional council members. Residents barricaded the road with stones and burning tires. Dial Haidzewe reports. The house of a taxi owner was burned down by angry residents who alleges that the taxi operators are responsible for the ritual killings in the area. Taxi operators have reacted by blockading the road with a fleet of taxis. Motorists traveling to Zira and Botswana are affected by the protest. The council and the acting chief have been taken hostage by the fuming taxi men who want the council to clear the matter. I'm Dal Khaitewe, reporting for SABC Radio News, Dinukana. Police have confirmed that seven Greenpeace environmental activists have been arrested for trespassing after trying to hoist a flag at a high-rise hotel in Durban. It's alleged that they entered the Marine Parade Hotel in Durban's beachfront and attempted to put up a flag. Police spokesperson Vishnu Naidu. They arrested for trespassing and they've been charged accordingly. The activists are alleged to have stormed the hotel and attempted to put up a flag on the roof. And while trying to descend from the building, we heard members from two of our specialized units and they effected their arrest. We're just waiting for the due processes to be finalized. Meanwhile, Greenpeace Executive Director Kumi Naidu says the activists should be released after lunch today. He says the group includes four South Africans as well as one German, one Danish and one European national. He says the activists are being held at a Durban police station. Family members of the 17 Mozambicans who died in an accident between a taxi and a truck on the N4 road between Belfast and Machadadorp in Bumalanga have arrived at Middleburg Hospital where the burnt bodies are being kept. The families will be rather will help the D- with DNA tests to identify their family members that were burnt beyond recognition in the crash. Only three bodies were not burnt after they were thrown out of the taxi. The taxi was on its way from Mozambique to Johannesburg when it collided head-on with the truck after veering into the oncoming lane in front of the truck. The truck dragged the taxi for a couple of meters and both vehicles caught fire. The families will also go to the Home Affairs Department to apply for permits to transport the bodies back home. And finally, security workers involved in how train operations are on strike over a wage dispute. However, officials are adamant that this is not affecting the train and bus services. They say wage negotiations with the workers are underway and they hope to reach a settlement soon. Recapping the top story, murder-accused musician Molemo Jubjub Maruhanye says he did not sit, set out to murder anybody and denied all charges against him in the Protea Magistrates Court in